Evening friends, your old friend Barncaster here with uh, another interesting pickup adventure. Uh, this is a vintage Diarmin Rhythm Chief 1000. Pretty heavy steamed in jazz circles. An interesting pickup, originally made for archtop guitars. Um, you'll notice that it's got a hole drilled through the housing and it slides back and forth on this 1 8 inch bar so you could literally um, move it up and down the top of your guitar a little bit to change your tone or to dial it in, which is pretty interesting. Arch tops, it's you know difficult to mount things on them without drilling to, through the top, and a lot of people don't want to do that. Um, this particular one I got on the eBay for a very reasonable price because it needed to be rewound and it was a little beat up. And research said that stock, there were about 15 Ks of resistance, and I've wound quite a few gold foils, or rewound quite a few gold foils now. And after doing some calculations of the winding area, um, I'm absolutely positive that these are originally wound with 45 gauge uh, single built poly. After doing some calculations, it would you know, take a little over 9,300 winds to get it um, to what the internet said was normal at the time, about 15K. I decided to scatter wind this one a little bit so it would come out a little bit less. Scatter winding isn't as efficient space wise as linear winding but I think it sounds better personally. An unusual pickup in that it's a single coil, but it's got concentric coils in it. So the EADG has a separate bobbin, which you wind with about, I got about 2,100 winds on it. Then you glue in the BE bobbin at the bottom and then throw the balance of the winds over that. So this was, I got about 2,100 winds on the EADG bobbin, glued in the BE then put another 6,000 plus over that. I think I ended up at about 8,650 wines total, 45, min build, 45 gauge min build. It meters at about 12.37 uh, K and inductance is over four and a half Henry's. So it's got a lot of push to it, a lot of grunt. Um, <clears throat> being a, noted for being a jazz pickup, I expect it to be very mid forward. And it's interesting, it, it is very mid-forward, but it's sane, and clear, and punchy at the same time. Now, it sounds very, you know, like something uh, boutique-y and high-end. It's got an interesting tone. It's kind of special. I can see why these, these things are expensive. Um, I'll put uh, a little gain to it as well, but this is what it sounds like clean right now through my Fender Blues Jr. AC booster, um, it sounds a little bit like this. Um, I find are just exceptional pickups. 
Uh, Rex potted this one too, so it would behave with a lot of gain, and hopefully I'll get a chance to play it through my friend uh, Mark Grant's uh, Marshall stack pretty soon. <laughs> we'll see what it sounds like. Have a great evening, folks. Take care. Bye.